And it's on for the final classic of the season in its distant ledger. A more and six and a half furlongs. Group one at Doncaster for three year olds. And at the top, bravery for Craig Beckwith. Devilish Gelding, Darren Thompson, El Paso Morant, Vinnie Gerard, F. Scott Fitzgerald, Paul Rhodes, Christopherson Emblem, Leon Van Rensburg, late arrival. Oh, Craig Allen, star of Norway, Paul Rhodes, Timberora McGrew, Matt Cooper, Thray Manor, David Robertson, alarming John Morgan, Dernier Nosh, David Robertson, drums in the deep, Leon Van Rensburg, motion sickness, Craig Allen, Poppets Path and Quishky Superstar for Dan Hughes, and so alive for Craig Becker. So a big field of 16 for the St. Ledger. All installed and ready to go. And away they go. And fairly level line as they break away across the little road and sort themselves out through the first furlong or so and it's F. Scott Fitzgerald right over on the far side who's got the rail and has got the lead and it's quickly gone three or four clear not hanging about that one I'm making a proper true test of Stowen and O crawling for 12 furlongs and then sprinting for four or two even <laughs> <laughs> it's F. Scott Fitzgerald, who's six or seven lengths clear, with Bravery in second, and then Devilish Gelden in third, star of Norway on the outside is next, then Drums in the Deep, El Paso, Morant is next, Trey Manor is after that, looking towards the back of the field, alarming for John Morgan, he's currently the back marker, and it's F. Scott Fitzgerald, who's got a good eight length lead in the St. Leisure, then with a mile and a quarter to go to Devilish Gelden in second, Drums in the Deepest third, then Star of Norway, Timberora McGrew, Christopher's an emblem, making a bit of a forward move, and towards the back, so alive and alarm, and still the back two, and Dernier Nosh the Grey is getting squeezed up on the rail, but it's F. Scott Fitzgerald, who's eight clear of Timberora McGrew, in a big race in second, then Christopher's an emblem, it's third, Star of Norway, next, then Motion Sickness, Trey Manor, trying to get into it as well and then later rivals trying to make a forward move devilish guild has just lost his place a little bit but the main body of the field are pretty tightly grouped and they're only about five lengths behind the leader f scott fitzgerald now timberora mcgrew still holding his own in second then christopher's an emblem in third star of norway is four then drums in the deep and motion sickness quishky superstar is the one Who's after that? The one trying to come really wide on the track is Devilish Gelding, but it's F. Scott Fitzgerald with six furlongs to go in the St. Ledger, who leads by four lengths to Star of Norway and Drums in the deep. Timberora McGrew still there on the inside. Motion Sickness is starting to creep into it, so to Quishky Superstar, and they're coming through now to challenge the leader. It's F. Scott Fitzgerald who's still in the lead. He says, Go again on that one. Quishky Superstar's in second. Closest to us, Motion Sickness in the green, and the yellow is third, then Star. Star of Norway, Drums in the Deep still there, Timberora McGrew is still there on the inside as well, El Paso Morant is trying to get going, Starlet and Devilish Gelden is coming round the outside, the Lyman is still last but only 10 lengths off the lead, and now it's Devilish Gelden who's come through to hit the front, they're inside the final three, and it's Devilish Gelden in the lead being chased now by... Trey Manor on the outside, then comes Motion Sickness, Quishky Superstar is next, F. Scott Fitzgerald is trying to stick on, but it's Devilish Gelded inside the two with a leader of about half a length, to Quishky Superstar and Motion Sickness, Trey Manor on the outside, F. Scott Fitzgerald and Star of Norway trying to get back into it, later rival trying to be a later rival, but it's Devilish Gelded into the final furlong from Quishky Superstar, then Motion Sickness and Trey Manor, and now Quishky Superstar is just beginning to assert over on the far side, Quishky Superstar fast finishing, Trey Manor is going to be forward and flashing back, supposed to get a bit squishy superstar that takes it. Motion sickness. Star of Norway got up to be third. And the final classic of the season did not disappoint. And Dan Hughes is building up a good record in these classic races. Takes another one with Quishky Superstar. Moving up to its name. Motion sickness second. So Quishky Superstar with Dan Hughes, the winner. That's another classic for him losing count. How many he's won over the last few seasons. Motion sickness for Craig Allen second. Devilish Gelding for Darren Thompson third. Trey Manor for David Robertson fourth. And Star of Norway for Paul Rhodes was fifth. <laughs>